I am pumped to introduce you to the Checkmate Quiver. This is something I've been working on for two years. And if you've been paying attention to the Easter eggs, you'll notice that for 2022, myself and some of my closest friends have been putting the Checkmate to the use in the field and the results are nothing short of perfect. This thing has everything we need in a quiver and everything that we've liked in quivers of the past, but more importantly, it really focused on the things that we all wished every quiver had. I'm certain that this quiver does it all and has so many features that you're gonna be super impressed about. First off, let's start here at the bottom with what we're referring to as the grip and go system. This is a newly configured finger system that will work on all types of shaft diameters. The material is very specific to work in high heat as well as extreme cold. But what you'll notice is there's actually a rear deployment, whether you're a right-handed shooter or a left-handed shooter, you're gonna be able to have a rear deploying arrow, which is gonna be important. Now the main frame itself is made out of a super lightweight, robust carbon. So this quiver is very light in the hand and it's gonna feel even lighter on the bow because of the tunability. What's nice about this is it's long enough to where you're fully supporting your arrow shafts and these arrows aren't moving around or being noisy. And the quietness of this quiver is due to several things, which is one of my biggest pet peeves in a quiver is when your mechanical heads or certain arrows are rattling around every single shot. This quiver, you are not gonna have that happen regardless of the types of broadheads. And there's five different types of broadheads in this quiver. Now, when you get to the center portion of the quiver, you're gonna notice two screws right here that allow you to adjust your quiver up and down. And this is so important because depending on the length of your bow or the length of your arrows, you don't wanna have a quiver that doesn't have this adjustment ability because you want your arrows up away from the ground and above your bottom cam, but you also don't want a quiver that when you put it on and it doesn't have adjustment, it's sitting up above your top cam to where you have this added weight up on the top portion of your bow. So you're able to put this in the perfect sweet spot to where your hood and the bottom of your arrows are perfectly centered in your bow system. Now we have a, what we're referring to as a quad adjustment system. So we have these two screws right here that easily allow you to adjust the up and down. But we also have on the bracket two screws right here that allow you to adjust your bow in or out so that you can get your quiver nice and tight to the bow system, but also you're able to move it in or out just in case you need to adjust that quiver so it's clear of certain arrow rests or certain types of bow sights. Now, one of the things that we wanted was a nice, simple and quiet lever system that wasn't going to fall off and fall out of your hand when you're doing it in a tree. So we have this lever lock system that allows you to make a simple adjustment down here for the type of tightness that you want for your quiver to not only slide on the bracket, but also how tight you want to be able to, to lock it down or how much pressure you need to be able to push on the lever lock to get it to tighten down. So it's a super simple bulletproof system that gives you the adjustment, not only on the lever lock, but again, the adjustment on the quad screws, just so you can move it up, down, in or out. Now, the next thing that you're gonna notice is on the bracket right here is something that we're calling the speed load. And this is something that I feel like has been needed for so long and I've worked on several different types of designs before finally settling in with this one. And what this does is when you remove your quiver and hang it in the tree and this bracket is still on your bow, you now have the ability to put a follow-up arrow on the side of your sight. So you can have one arrow loaded in the bow, 
You can have your follow-up here on the side, or if you're someone that just likes to have a second arrow for you know, having a bludgeon tip on there or a judo point, you're able to do that. And you can also have a backup arrow even at some of the outdoor target events. So that speed loader option is super awesome. Now, once we move into the quiver hood, you're gonna notice that this hood is actually built on an arc. And the reason that that has happened is because I wanted to be able to have a quiver that doesn't have as much surface area for a crosswind to where you're being blown so heavily from the side. So by taking that overall surface area that could be that wide and bringing it into an arc, I've actually been able to minimize the overall width surface area up to 20% compared to most very popular quivers that are on the market. So if you had one of those fully loaded with five arrows laying next to this one, you would definitely notice a difference in the overall width. Now, the other thing that I've worked on is what I'm referring to as a blade locker here, which is not only the foam shape, but the foam material, the foam depth, and the foam cut, so that this fits all kinds of heads. For example, here is a no-collar uh, two-blade mechanical, and you're able to put that all the way up in there to where that does not have any type of rattling on it. The other thing you'll notice is that in this configuration, your horizontal slices, you'll notice that some of the horizontal ones are actually slightly thicker so that if you have a two blade mechanical like this, you can line them up with that and be able to take them all the way down and in there so that they're fully secured, but you can also do that without deploying the system. So you can see there, that was a no-collar system. Right here, this is a, a sever. So even a, a long shanked sever broadhead has the ability to go all the way in there without deploying and being locked into position. Right here, we have uh, one of the Montec systems, which is a different type of collar system. Also goes right in there, able to get it all the way in, fully secure it and fully quieten it down. Uh, here we have one of the older style jackknife style broadheads. And then we also have just a simple fixed blade head, but it also even works on a four blade head system. Now this right here is mine that I've been using this entire past season. It is dirty, it's beat up, but it is adjusted perfectly. It's performed flawlessly, and I have absolutely fell in love with this quiver and the ability to be able to have an arrow, put it here on the side, take my quiver off, or I can hang it in the tree. I can have one arrow on the string. I can have a follow-up, so in a spot and stalk situation, if I'm laying there, or if I'm sitting and I just want one extra follow-up arrow just in case, I'm able to have that right there on the side. But I'm here to tell you, if you're looking for the next best thing in quivers, it's going to be this one. And I'm gonna show you one more thing that I think is absolutely awesome. And that's right here. This super quiet system, we've got a metal, hook so that you can hang this in your tree, you can hang it in your shop, but this is a very simple, quiet, and smooth deployment to be able to take that quiver once it's off your bow and be able to hang it to where your backup arrows are easily accessible. And installation could not be easier. All you have to do is take the two screws that are provided and mount this bracket onto your sight. And then all you need to do is put your quiver onto your bow and adjust these two screws right here so that you have the height correct for your arrows where you'd like them to be. 
And then you can remove this off and adjust these two screws right here to be able to bring that quiver in or out depending on where you want it to sit on the bow. This thing is super awesome. You can see I'm able to bring it in super tight. It's super lightweight and I'm excited to finally bring it to the Knock On Nation.